Uh, hi everyone, we will talk about other kinds of uh, arrays. As you know, arrays, um, 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 there's a scholars, so uh, we have seen that we could have a scholar, so for example, A equals 1. This is a scholar. If you look at the space in here, um, A, um, it's like an uh, array one by one, which is one element, and by default, we'll be created in a double each element 8 bytes so 1 times 8 um, uh, 1 times 8 will give you 8 and the value is uh, 1 you could create an, a vector uh, or uh, you know a, uh, you know uh, like b for example you could say equals 1 uh, to 10 so 10 elements uh, and as you see in here it was created in the memory it's 1 times 10, so 1 row, 10 columns, each one is a double, so we have 10 elements, each one is 8 bytes, so 10 times 8 will give you 80, and these are the values. Also, we could create a matrix, so uh, 2 row matrix, for example. Uh, so let's create, so usually you have, you start with a square bracket, 1, comma two comma three then semicolon to give the second row uh, let's say it's four comma five comma six and and I will not put semicolon because it because I want to see it now and this is C which is like uh, two rows and uh, three columns the total number of elements six each one is eight bytes so six times eight will give you uh, 48 and that's the total total size reserved in the memory for this uh, this one all right so that's what it is <coughs> um, so uh, by default uh, by default um, the, the the type of data it will be uh, double and everything you create will be saved in the in the memory there is different um, different um, uh, data types in MATLAB we call them scholar so we, we, we call them class so the data types we call them uh, class um, uh, the size of the double is like eight bytes for each of eight bytes for each element for each element it eight bytes <coughs> and then <coughs> if you do like to take a look at all the different types of um, of um, um, in MATLAB, so this kind of data stored in MATLAB matrices, uh, we have a character, we'll take a look at it, which is either character or string. You could have logical, logical means true or false. Then num numeric, which we, we use it the most, and this could be a floating point, single position, which we'll see in a second, double position, which we already s saw, uh, uh, and uh, both could come in complex or real uh, numbers. <coughs> also, we could have integers, and integers that means they don't have the decimal point. Uh, again, it could be signed or unsigned. Uh, when you come to the time, you could store time in a variable, so it could include date time and duration. Then we have symbolic. We'll be taking taking a look at most of these. Else. All right. So first thing first.